All right. Welcome back. As I mentioned last time that I wanted to verify how we can run cursor on WSL. I found some things, but I'm going to go a very simple video of using cursor in WSL. If you are like me and you install cursor along with importing VS Code extensions, uh, you will have all the extensions. Let's say I want to go into my documents. No, not Animatica. Documents, Python world. So I want to do here. Oh, not code. I meant cursor. Okay, good, good. Uh, so it opens cursor. So that's the shortcut for this. Um, so here, if you see, we have some extensions. And I already have the WSL extension imported from uh, VS Code. Now that means I can go here and it gives me the option of connect to WSL. Uh, I can also do connect to open folder in WSL. So if I click on connect to WSL, let's go here. And it is setting up the distro and it can open up. So I'm here. Let me switch my user to what I was and go to something, let's say a sync you. So I can do things here. Now, if I do code dot, this will probably open a new VS code window because that's how WSL is set up, which is okay. But if I do cursor dot, it will not recognize it. This is something I'm still figuring out. Maybe in future videos, I'll add something to it. But for now, if you want to open any folder, you can use this. It's just like that. Home. So this way, I can go into a whole repo where I can utilize these. Great. All right. So I did some research and I figured out how we can use cursor directly from WSL in order to use each folder, you know, if you want to do cursor dot. There is this command where we actually have everything. So what this command does is basically I go into my C drive, not WSL, but the C drive and the exact folder of where my cursor is installed. So if you look here, you can see my cursor is installed here. And if I just show for a bit, and so it's the same folder as the Windows. So that's how WSL works, it's within Windows. So it can also access the Windows files. Um, and then what we need to do is to set this up in a ZSHRC file. Now, a ZSHRC file is a configuration file for the Z shell. And Z shell is basically to allow users to customize our like Z shell environment. So the next command which will be used is this. So I'm pasting a bunch of these things into CSHRC. Okay, so let me just paste this. Now I have it. So if I wanna just go to, let's say my workspace, let's say I wanna go to TD Python. And now if I do cursor dot, it would work as I showed. So that's one way. And if you want to see what's in that file, you can also see that CSHRC. Oh. Oops, I missed one letter. Yeah, as you can see, I have already tried this before, so it's repeated, but I can remove these and this can be still saved. So you can see that that created. Now, while there's one still one issue, which I haven't figured out, but maybe sometime later. But if here, if I want to do cursor dot, it will not work. But if I source this, that file again and then do this, it works. So uh, we figured out a way how to use cursor just like VS Code. And also, if I do code dot, it will open a VS Code here. Um, because that's what it's connected to. There you go. We have this running. So we can use cursor for cursor, code for code, but for just cursor right now, we just have to source that file. We'll figure out more things. Probably in the next video, we'll talk about what cursor can do 
and maybe we can also compare VS Code Copilot with Cursor or other places. As of now, that's it from me.